Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and in today's video we've got something of a little treat. Uh, we're going to be finally having a look around my new coin studio. So if you did follow me on my social medias you'll see that I was always updating everyone when I was redecorating my house and I had a little bit of an empty space in the hallway so I thought I'd make it into a bit of a, a coin space for myself so I can record videos, display my coins and it turned out really well. And now I'm finally able to uh, record a video and I'm going to show you around my little uh, safe haven today. It's my little, um, instead of a man shed, it's a, it's a man hallway. <laughs> but yeah, it's turned out really well and I'm, I'm so happy to finally have somewhere to display my coins and do some work in a little bit of privacy without the kids doing my head in. So it's not going to be a whole collection video. Um, the whole, my, my uh, whole uh, coin collection video will be coming up very soon. I'm just in the process of organising some final bits and bobs so I can film a really good video on that. But today it's just going to be a little look around the coin studio, um, how I display my coins, and uh, you, you'll, you'll get a little glimpse of um, what my collection is um, really like. I've never really shown too much on my channel about it, apart from um, one of my first coin collection videos, which I did about two or three years ago, and it just literally was half a folder full of coins and a few bulk packs but my collection has just grown uh, uh, massively since then and um, I've really enjoyed um, the, the whole coin collecting journey and meeting so many fantastic friends and coin tubers. So without further ado, like I say it's not going to be a whole coin collection video, it's going to be a look around my office and I'll, I'll try and show you as much as I can without making the video too long and boring because uh, yeah that's what I do best. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, let's head on into the hallway and I'll show you my coin studio and um, how a few little bits and bobs work in there, so let's go, let's do this. Okay, so we are going to start the tour right here, which is my living room, I'm currently stood in the living room space, and of course you can see parts of the studio already. So of course, walking from the living room into the hallway, we do have the uh, the famous coin studio. And you'll get a much more detailed tour in a minute. But the first thing that I wanted to point out is obviously we've got the stairs which lead up to the bedrooms. And uh, this was mainly an empty space. We've, this is the front door actually. We've never really used this um, since we got the house. Because um, we didn't want all the kids running through the hallway and through the living room. With muddy shoes and all the bags and coats and stuff. It was just an absolute pain. So um We've got two doors, this one being the front, and just onto that one there is the back door which leads to a utility room. Quite a big space, so we thought we'd convert that into the main entrance area. So we sealed up this door, bolted it, deadlocked it, the lot, and then I thought, hey up, I've got quite a nice little cosy space here to uh, create a, uh, a coin studio. And it's worked out really well to be fair, and it's so cosy, I can get my work done in here. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to start off showing you some uh, little bits and bobs which make this coin studio really functional and a great place to um, create films and um, store my coins. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is that? Now um, I'm one of these people, if I've got bits and bobs I can make stuff with at home, I will do. If I can upcycle anything, that's exactly what I'll do. And this is what I've done with this table. Now you might be thinking it's some sort of a medieval torture device, but it's not. It's actually my recording table. And right now I'm going to um, cut the film and I'm going to show you exactly how I set this up. Okay, so here we go. This is the uh, the recording area. Now I've had this folded up, obviously, so we can walk in and out of here easy. And it's fairly simple, really. Um, I made these little clips. These are old curtain rail things. Um, little tie back things, so I've recycled these. And all I do is unclip it. Lower my desk down, tidy the towel up, and there we are, there's my recording desk. Now this is quite strong, the chains are here, it's screwed in there, and it is fairly strong, you know. I think this can like withhold the weight of uh, my eldest son, Leo, and he's about four stone, and it holds him, so uh, yeah, that's good going, it should hold some coins. Now, um, once the table's down, all I've got to do is uh, whip my ring light down, so this just normally comes around like that. Just wedges in there like so, and uh, flick it round, put it into position, and then just below here is the actual, um, actual switch for it, and there we go, I've got my little recording desk, 
ring light, a little board in case I've got any ideas. And I could just, you know, record videos. So I've got my bulk pack. Right, hello, welcome to Coins and More UK in today's video. There we go. So this is it's really functional space and I'm really happy with how this turned out. And of course when I'm not using it, I can just fold it away and we can get through the hallway a little bit easier that way. So normally obviously I'd have the camera stand here, but I'm using it to film this video. And it will be there, and yeah, that's how you see my hands, and you know, instead of having to sit down now, which I didn't really like sitting down and recording, um, I do prefer to stand up and record, so it's, it really makes sense to have this table here, and it's just so functional, and um, I've already filmed some coin hunts on this table, and it's, it's done really well, it's not bad, really too much, and it's just a fantastic um, little idea, I mean, if you, if you look underneath this towel, it's just, it's just an old table, it's an old Ikea table, so the underneath I painted it to match the walls when it's folded up, and then, yeah, just a, a nice little towel over it. Bob's your uncle. We have a recording table. Very happy with that. And then once I'm finished, all we've got to do is back the lights out, just a little wedge, pop that back in there, swivel it around so it doesn't catch up these chains, put the coins away, fold it back up. Hopefully it will go right first time. And then just clip it on. And there we go, that's, that's all the way, and I've got all this space back, so that is my recording desk. Okay, so now I've shown you the table, let's um, let's have a nice little tour of the studio. Let's begin. So, of course, every studio, we've the house telephone, we've got the modem, and these are just little of my um, heirlooms, really, my best keepsakes that I like to keep in the office, um, my holiday to Blackpool, um, some Father's Day bits, my son who plays for the local football team and some trophies and some teddies so of course every office has got to have um, some little bits and bobs like that um so moving along let's do the computer desk first because this is quite easy to explain so this is my um my computer setup um some coins and more branding down there and some smiley faces these were actually badges from paul and i was uh, really happy with them and as you can see here, let's uh, we've got a couple of um, coins and more play buttons which are being made and they're getting ready to be sent out soon. And you'll see something else familiar here as well. We've got the good old Califax um, magnet. Obviously, you know, I've just stuck it straight into my radiator and it makes absolute sense to have it there. So thank you very much, Cali. And then, yeah, basic monitor, wireless keyboard and mouse. And just underneath here, these are just some office supplies. Um, some bubble wrap, tin foil for sending out some coins, photo paper, paper, laminate sheets, and these are just all bits and bobs for wrapping up packages as well. Some highlighters and some blue tack for when I put bits and bobs on the wall. So yeah, just basic office staples underneath there. And underneath here, you don't really want to have a look underneath there, it's just loads of modem cable, laminator, and other bits and bobs. So there we go, nothing much to see there. And, and obviously there's, there's my little computer. It does need upgrading, it's not very powerful. Uh, so I'm hoping to get this upgraded soon so I can start doing some live streams from the studio. And this is just an external hard drive. I need that for the amount of videos that I put out. This is like a, I think this is a one terabyte hard drive. So that comes in really useful for storing all my YouTube bits and bobs on. And there we have my, that's my little computer setup. Nothing fancy, just nice and simple. And it does the job absolutely perfect. Okay, so just above my computer, now we have got the, uh, of course every office needs a Dan Temple painting. This is just another light, this, I sometimes use this for recording, or sometimes I use it for taking photos of coins. And this is just a basic plug-in light, as you can see when it's on. It illuminates my computer desk at night time, or I can use it to take some really nice, um, clear, crisp photos. When there's not much um, light in this room, um, until the summertime you don't get an awful lot, so I've had to have quite a few lights put in here. So let's turn this off for now, and of course, the stunning Dan Temple um, painting just there, which he kindly uh, gifted me. We did like a little exchange um, during the last uh, Royal Mint trip, so I do appreciate that. And of course, it, it overlooks my computer desk, and I look at it anytime I need some inspiration, because what Dan does is very inspirational. Okay, so let's move on. So here we go, we're moving on to some coins, finally. Um, okay, so I'm not, like I say, it's not going to be a, a whole... Um, coin collection um, video at the moment but okay so just here is in this box is spares now a lot of this is spares um, I don't keep an awful lot on display that 
is in my collection but these some are just spares really so we've got some old um old pound coins just there and these are like all um some some of the old pre-decimal coins and old uk currency which are kept in uh in this box just there so we've got the, the half pennies the crowns the shillings and um, the old one pound coins old 50ps and stuff so that's that that's like yeah spares of all them the old pennies and stuff they get they get kept in there this is the last destination before they end up on ebay or getting ready for sale okay so i am now going to have to stand on oh, the chair to have a look at this so here we go so these are just some old world coins that need sorting out um these are all the the um logo stickers that paul from coin patrol made me when my camera wants to uh, zoom in so there we go zoom not playing ball today are you camera but yeah there's some uh, coins and more stickers that paul did for me and then in there's just miscellaneous stickers that paul did for me as well in that box just there we've got some spare tubs for when i do get a, a massive big Hall of world coins this is how I um, organize them and separate them when I'm organizing them and in here it's just personal paperwork and um, in here it's just all that business banking and stuff old envelopes and personal items in there now moving along now I did buy these just recently they've been so handy in helping me sort out my um, coins yeah this was from Audi I think I paid like six or seven quid for this but oh I absolutely loved it and of course it is for storing all my um, spare world coins. So let's try and zoom in. There we go, that's a little bit better. So in here we've got some coins with holes. I think some of these are still empty. And then we've got some, uh, what is it, Aust Austria I think. Coins, and there's not much in these ones so let's start going down the bottom. As you can see, lots and lots of coins. So we're getting organised and you know how to display them and stuff. So we've got some like old South African coins, some coins from Kenya and things like that. And then moving moving down below. So I think these are these are the Italians, Italy coins. Um, these ones are the uh, the Belgium, I think. No, they're not. Yes, yeah, these are all, all coins from Belgium. Then we've got the, uh, these are all like pesetas and things like that, Spanish. And we just opened that one, so let's shut it straight back up. So there we have all the uh, the Greek drachma. And then we've got um, francs. So all the French francs in there, loads of different designs. Centimes, as you can see normally this drawer is quite full up. So I always keep hold of these um, for date runs and stuff. And then in there we've just got the old francs as well. These are the old Belgium francs. And moving below in this one we have got these are these are Canadian coins, so Canada, uh, US coins. Quite a few of them. I do love the US coins. In there is uh, these are Australian. Absolutely love my Australian coins. And as you can see, I'm slowly starting to get them into flips. And this one I think is New Zealand. Let's have a look. Oh no, sorry. Um this one was new these ones are New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand in that one, and these are the Australian ones. And I have got quite a few of them. I do love the Australian coins. I've got a old uh, old pennies. Do need to have a look through them. Um I've seen a few videos just lately, so I need to be checking these out a little bit better. In there we've got the old Irish coins, absolutely tons, tons and tons of Irish coins. And here, these are all my territories, all my spare territory coins. There's quite a few in there, you might see a few familiar ones. I'm not quite sure which one that one is, but yeah, these are all my territory coins. Lots and lots in there. And old pounds, this is my date one for the new one pound coins, and as you can see it's going well. Okay, and in the bottom drawer is just some spares and miscellaneous. Some of you are quite familiar with these. These are my little Lucky Dip packages that I handed out on the last Royal Mint trip. We've got some tokens. So in here is tokens, yes. So that is a Swiss franc. No, Swiss, yeah, it's a Swiss franc. Um, I keep hold of them. 
some old bus tokens got a lovely old coin from dan when i last went to the mint in march uh, of last year some pieces of eight from gordon some fake um old Ro roman coins i think leonardo i kept that because my son's called leo and there's an old leonardo coin we've got here another token from dan because the first time i went i went with my son and dan was kind enough to give my son one as well so that was fantastic and the phone's ringing okay so after that interruption here we go so yeah that is my little spares drawer uh, it's not very full at the moment because um yeah i need to get filling these drawers up i've got so much to sort out here is my um these are all banknotes this is my big banknote album again i'm not going to go through all that this is more for a um my whole collection video and just um behind that is just some bits and bobs from the roll mint some magazines from the mint i'm not going to get them out in case i knock it anything over let's move on to these big ones now in the top drawer is just some uh, some stamps stickers and gifts that I've received over my past couple of mint trips, which was really cool. I can see some bungle badges in there, some bits and bobs from Christopher Collects. And uh, yeah, that's a boring drawer really, as is this one. This is quite empty. Uh, the next one, now this is more for storage, for storing all my coins. Um, put that, that one side. Oh, we've got a, a random change to a card. Got these things everywhere to be fair. I need to, again, get more organized. And in here, let's have a little look. So we've got the coin flips just there always keep stocked up with these um, some coin capsules we've always got plenty of these on standby and then without knocking anything over because it is quite a tight space in there but it's cozy these are these are coin stands so i always keep stocked up with these when i'm putting stuff on the shelves which are right behind me and then below that is just some plastic wallets and um, little plastic coin bags when i send coins away and underneath there is just a couple of, uh, we've got some coin albums as well, which are stored underneath there. Underneath here is um, some £2 coins that need organising organizing into albums. The ones at the back are ones that need dating, writing on, and putting in the albums. And then just here we've got just loads of spare £2 coins. Then we're kept in these drawers. If I want to get some albums, I'm uh, Waiting for some albums, um, some coin flip albums actually to get all these stored in. But as you can see, they're all stacked up nicely there. And these are just £2 coins. Loads and loads of £2 coins. And as you can see, we've got a bit of a date one going on. 2014, 15, and all the way up to 16 as well. So we're getting there, slowly getting there. And then in the um, in this one is... Um, spare 50ps and stuff again getting ready for a date run so i'm currently starting at 1994 with the d-day landings i've got quite a few to fill out actually again bungles put me to shame on the uh 50p date runs but as you can see they're all dated in order getting ready to go on the album that's harder than you think and behind that is just spares these are just spare 50p coins and again ones that need putting into flips um, diversity i've not had many of them so i'm, I'm keep, you know I'm keeping hold of a few just for now and i always keep some benjamin bunnies spare as well in case uh in case i send anything and you know obviously like the rest of everyone i can get them signed and sent of but yeah this is my 50p draw and there's, there's loads in there bit of a date run going on I just need a few more and then i can start putting these into my coin flip albums but for now they're staying there otherwise i'll just get way too unorganized again and that's that and then just behind there we've got some little hidden gems so we've got some postcards from from the royal mint and of course we have a postcard from trev at coins to collect when he did his um gibraltar visit fantastic set of videos they were and i'm really hoping he gets back over there soon because they were fantastic videos and um, i really did enjoy them so coins to collect yeah go and check out his channel and again just some dad stuff um a little plaque there that i keep looking at and just down there is the royal mint gift bag whenever i go to the royal mint i take this with me it just makes makes things so much easier for carrying everything okay so moving on to um the uh the backspace of the coin studio now this these are some of my more prized coins i don't keep everything on display um main reasons like insurance purposes and you just never know what might happen 
but the you know, majority of things you can keep on here. And as you can see, um, I'm going to try not to do a whole collection video, but you can get a whiff of what I've got up here. So some Olympics, Christopher Clex token, the, the gold Titanic coin. This is really cool. This is like a, a mini Royal Mint coin. The uh, the post office um, coin. Of course, we've got the um, festival, day, uh, festival day crown or shilling, is it? Some gifts from Christina, the little Spitfire. And up here is my miscellaneous books. So more like five pound coins the music legend series the christmas five pound coins behind that is the uh, 50th anniversary of the 50 piece set and then just there because i do need some more shelves this is the 2021 united kingdom uh, uncirculated coin set the annual set from 2021 basically but i do need i do need some more space to store things but mainly up here is five pound coins and uh, up there as well, oh, of course we forgot about the um, the Tempe coin sets, they'll never be going anywhere, 2019 and 2018, I've got two of them, uh, two each of them, sorry, the one pound coin, and, and that's that one, so uh, on the next shelf down now, uh, we've got some more bits and bobs now, when I first started collecting I didn't enjoy these um, these albums, but I've heard some bad things about them, so eventually I will Get them uh, get the coins out of these but on this shelf is more of the annuals and the the coin wallets so we've got obviously some badges from james e. b hoy obviously the james e. b hoy coin and some of these are my prized possessions as well so these two here are uh, the bungle and lady m 50p coin and the b hoy one there just as well some royal mint merchandise and of course we've got the taylor peter rabbit and these are all full. These are the 2016, 17 and 18 sets, all complete. The Paddington, um, very popular coin, but I've always had a soft spot for um, this coin series. And the Paddington at the tower just there. And then um, we've got the, the Stamp Your Owns. And I'm just behind there. I was so gutted they didn't do a third one. Um, the third dino, but it is what it is. And uh, of course the Royal Mint have been so busy making all these face masks, face masks as well, so we can't really be uh, grumbling too much. And these are some of my, um, these are the ones where, you know, you get the first coin free and then you you pay about £10,000 each for the next few coins. But these are really nice and these are coins that I got for free for signing up to a subscription, of course, which you are allowed to cancel. I wasn't being stingy. But these are some lovely, uh, I think they're silver plated or silver plated crowns and stuff. And then we've got the one crown just there. That's a beautiful coin as well. And there's that all nicely uh, presented. And then some of my um, special silver proofs. The poppy coin. I love that. I got that from Westminster. That was a fantastic buy. One of my favourite coins. It's simple and stunning. The silver proof um, D-Day. The silver proof five pence coin set. And uh, the, the one pound coin as well. That's a silver proof as well. And something everyone else has got behind there as well is the uh, the first decimal coin set as well. Uh, a few crowns just behind there as well. Everyone's got tons of them. And that's just three of them. I've got them everywhere. And then we've got the... the uh, of course, everyone has to have one of these. It's the um, the Dan Temple token. And I was kind... You know, very kindly uh, gifted this on my first trip to the Roman. And it, it does hold price of place on that shelf. Along with the Dan Temple postcard, surrounded by some postcards. So I can get that to zoom in. The lighting's a bit weird in here, guys, so I do apologise if the zooming goes out. And then just on here, we've got some like badges and stuff, which people have given me. I do like to keep them on display. And then on the bottom shelf, of course, you've all seen my kids. All I've got to do is look behind me, and I've got some inspiration just there. So they hold price of, pride of place. And then just there is the infamous doorbells. Now these are there because I'm fed up of, the stairs are there, the boys' bedrooms are upstairs. And I'm fed up of standing at the bottom of these stairs and having to shout them. I mean, sometimes we've got to shout them really loud. One of my sons is deaf. Um, he has to have, he has to have uh, hearing aids. But of course when he's up there on his Xbox, he's got his earphones on so he can never hear me. So I've had to literally, you know, get, get these tapped up right next to the beds so they can hear me when it's tea time or... If you need them sounds silly but it's really effective and it works for us it's <laughs> it's a mad old trick i do have some weird ideas okay so moving on to the next couple of shelves um 
of course these are all my two pound coins now we'll try and zoom in so of course we've got a couple of old crowns i just like to put these on the shelves for further decoration and again i'll try not to go through all of these but of course we've got some like two pound coins we've got the um the ve day agatha christie and then we've got the samuel peeps new horizons which is mayflower d-day wedgwood frankenstein and of course we've got the whole rvf collection just there which is my favorite set of uh, two pound coins i do love them and then there's more bunks behind them now how we're filming this i don't even dare touch them because they'll all fall down like a pack of donimals this is why i need more shelves so i can't really touch any unfortunately but yeah the, some of these are two or three deep and it spans the whole end for that shelf but these are all my two pound bunks and when i first started coin collecting this is what i I said to myself, you know, I want to focus on bunk packs. Um, at the time, it was affordable. And I thought, yeah, I, I can do this. You know, £10 a pop, it is affordable. But I, I'd never dream of um, getting the silver proofs. There's no way, with the way I collect and hoard, that I'd be able to keep up with myself with silver proofs. And then we've just got some nice, uh, we've got a 2p coin. And a 1p coin, absolutely uh, stunning condition. Again, the lighting's a bit weird in here. Let's have a look. There we go. That's a bit better. So yeah, there is my two pound coin shelf, and I will need more. I'm gonna to have to build up soon uh, to be able to display more coins because I don't really want them all one behind each other. So the bottom shelf, and uh, as you can possibly tell, this is my 50p shelf. Now, whereas the two pound coins are two or three um, thick, these just uh, yeah, this just goes mad. As you can see, like, if I touch one of these coins, I'm gonna fall off. So uh, I've got to be careful. So let's start from this side again. We've got the Dino coins. There's more two pound bunks behind that. We've got the Gruffalo series, Snowman series, Innovation of Science series, um, Wallace and Gromit just hidden behind there, and the Isaac Newton. And these are just some some recent purchases. So we've got the Decimal Day 50p bunk, and all all the Winnie the Pooh bunks. Diversity, and as you can see behind there, goes back loads and loads of different coins. Like I can say as soon as I move one, it's going to like have like a domino effect. And obviously, I've only got one hand, so I don't dare touch these coins too much. That's why my whole uh, coin collection video will be for another video because I've definitely got to try and um, figure out how to film that because a lot of these will have to come off the shelf to actually film that whole co whole coin collection video. But again, most of these are two or three deep. Um, it's crazy. There you go. Let's see. Perfect example of what happens. You touch one and they'll fall down. There we go. And then we've got the... Oh, yeah. We've got the... Um, what's this one? Uh, yeah, so we've got the um, Team GB. I was losing my words just there. And that's a whole shelf of 50p bulk backs. Now, these are just some that I want to display... Some of my others, um, for insurance purposes, I'm not allowed to, uh, you know, I can't really display them really, because if, if I do end up getting robbed, which I probably will do now I film this video, um, yeah, I won't be covered, unfortunately, so I've got to really be careful. And all these coins are like my babies. I, I just cherish every single one of them. It is my passion. And that's just a quick little tour of my shelves and what I've got on display. But as you can see, it's very cluttered. As you can see, £2. That's a postcard, actually. And this one, I just printed this one off the internet to stick behind my 50p coins. But this is my, you know, all the bits and bobs that I want to put on display. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And it's a little bit of an insight to um, all my bits and bobs. I'm, I'm slowly getting organised. I've got so much um, more to um, get organised. There's still loads of coins in the living room. I've got a big wooden cabinet in there that's full of coins. And uh, there's some more coins upstairs and storage boxes as well that I need to get organised. And it's, it's good. It works for me. It's cosy. I can get everything I need done in there, like my table. I can live stream from the computer with a nice backdrop of the coins. And it's a very functional working space and it works fantastic. Um, I've not had a chance to utilise um, that properly yet. Until I've got a new computer, I can start live streaming and filming some really good content. It's been a pleasure to finally show you around my little space. Uh, it might not be to everyone's cup of tea, but I think everyone has their own little way of storing the coins and certainly do, doing what works for them. And this is what works for me, so I thought I'd take this empty space 
and make it into something a bit useful. It keeps everything out of the way. Like I say, yeah, this did used to be a hallway. We used to walk down there straight out of our front door. When we got this house, all the sofas, fridges, freezers, they came through this hallway. And that little mark, there's a little mark just there. That is where my chair keeps scraping on the back wall. That's how um, cosy it is. Oh, I've got to show you. We've got a little Percy Pig down there as well. So we've got Percy Pig, as you can tell, it's going to be Mother's Day soon. Loads of iron brew bottles, and they're just bits and bobs that kind of get hoarded as well. And I've got a printer just in that corner beyond there. I hope you've enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you haven't already um, subscribed to my channel, please free, feel free to do so. And of course, if you press that notification bell, you'll always be notified when I upload new videos like this. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like. And if you want to leave me a comment, that would be absolutely fantastic as well. But just always remember, thank you so much for all your support. And always remember, there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look. Thank you.